now we are going to learn other methods of depreciation apart from slm and wdb so these methods will help you to calculate the amount of depreciation the way we calculate in slm and wdb with but but with some different methods of calculation the first method of depreciation is sum of years digit method before learning this method let us try to recollect the concepts called simple average and weighted average let us take an example that i have three figures 4000 5000 and 6000 if i want to take the simple average of it i'll take simply take the total of all the three divided by 3 and i'll get the simple average of 5000 if i want to calculate the weighted average of the same amounts then what to do so 4000 5000 6000 i'm going to apply weights to all these figures say i'm applying 3 as a maximum weight to the first amount of 4000 so 3 2 and 1 there is no thumb rule that you have to apply 3 at 2 and 1 you can also apply 30 20 10 100 50 150 uh, 150, 150 whatever but that gap between the two should be constant that will not change your ultimate answer so we calculate the product product is nothing but the amount into weights so 4000 into 3 12000 5000 into 2 2 10000 and 6000 into 1 6000 Now let us take the totals of weights, which comes to six, and total of product, which comes to twenty-eight thousand. Now weighted average, calculate to calculate weighted average, we say total of product divided by total of weights, which is equal to twenty-eight thousand divided by six thousand, which comes to four thousand six sixty-six. This is the weighted average. So can I say that simple average? and weighted average has the only difference where in simple average we also applied the weights but the weights were equal so i applied 111 to 4000 5000 and 6000 and therefore the total of weights came to 3 and therefore i divided by 3 whereas i applied different weights in weighted average and therefore we i have to calculate product separately and the total of weights came to 6 so this is the difference between simple average and weighted average now why are we discussing this in the chapter of depreciation is because sum of years digit method i would have loved had it they called it as weighted depreciation method this could have been the more appropriate name for this method because we are going to simply apply weights to the amount of depreciation the, the weights will keep on changing every year and therefore the amount of depreciation will also be different for each year let us take a look at an asset which has got a useful life of 5 years so the name says sum of years digit so what are the years digits here of the useful life it's 5 4 3 2 and 1 if you take the sum of the years digits so 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 comes to 15 15 is called as syd factor which is nothing but the total of weights if we use 5 4 3 2 1 as weights then we get a total of weights as 15 which is technically known as syd factor or sum of years digit factor now at times the useful life of an asset can be 15 years or 20 years in that case calculation of syd factor will be quite time consuming so you have a shortcut here n into n plus 1 divided by 2 where n is equal to useful life so if you substitute by uh, n by 5 which is a useful life 5 into 5 plus 1 divided by 2 will also give us 15 which is nothing but syd factor if at all you forget this formula you can always go back and add all the digits and you will get the same answer now how to calculate the amount of depreciation for the first year under this method so depreciation for first year is equal to try to recollect the original formula of calculation of depreciation under slm it was cost of asset minus scrap value divided by life of asset but here in the denominator instead of writing the life of asset we are going to write syd factor that means we are going to divide by the total of weights because we want we are going to calculate a weighted depreciation method so once you calculate this you will get some amount and then because you are calculating depreciation for the first year we will multiply by the maximum weight amongst all the five weights so the maximum weight amongst 5 4 3 2 1 is 5 and therefore multiplied by n got it now in the second year depreciation for second year will be the first part will remain same cost of asset minus scrap value divided by syd factor this remains same 
but for the second year the next weight that i am going to apply is 4 first year i applied the weight was 5 second year it is 4 that means in words i have to write n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 4 and so on so you have to keep on calculating this for each year obviously the amount of depression will be different for each year so let us <coughs> see the uh, the conclusion new machine has higher productivity hence higher depreciation in initial years as machine gets older its productivity reduces hence lesser depreciation in later years and so on now let us try to understand the logic behind this method we applied higher weights in the initial years and we applied lesser weights in the later years the logic behind this is that when the machine is brand new when the machine is uh, newly bought its productivity or efficiency is very high and therefore it will be used for a longer period and hence higher depression should be charged in the initial years and therefore we charge highest weight in the first year as the machine gets older its productivity reduces and therefore lesser weights in the later year so can i say new machine has higher productivity hence higher depreciation in initial years as machine gets older its productivity reduces hence lesser depreciation in later years thank you